welcome back to the channel we are going to talk about the most important thing it's about camera especially you making animation but uh, i'm a very lazy person i don't really like to work with keyframe that's why i'm building a system can control the camera without using any keyframes and it even can auto focus and also recording camera movement by your mouse so it's kind of like a first person shooter and shaking function also driven by drum machine share with you guys download it in my patreon before this year ends so it's kind of like a christmas gift so it is this one camera assistance and just go to my patreon and there's a link so after you download it put it in your ss library and then just drag it to your scene you will see this orange collection and open it and drag this white collection out of and now we can delete that hide this original camera okay and uh, let's go to this camera to see this and right now you will see this one the record camera and we can mute that for now i will explain that later so now let's go to the camera first you will see this susan x there will be a camera this camera control is where the camera will be set driven by jamachino the third one you will see this target which is where the camera point to and we will see this focus is the depth of fail will follow and you got like a auto focus function we can talk about that later and also you will have this pass generator path curve if we now we show the point you will see all the point and uh, now if we try to play the timeline you will see the camera control will be follow the path if now we like uh, try to manipulate the path maybe just like a transform and also can give a noise of it you will see control will jump between this point okay and uh, also we have different type of the curve at default is circle and if we go to one it's like a line of that noise you can see it's a line and also a spiral so that's the third one can just um, control the how strong the sparrow will go you can transform from here go to this camera control right now we're using this point to point uh, mute this and use this linear you can see it will just uh, follow it this path like uh, linearly so now let's talk about this point to point you can see the path curve is uh, point to this curve inside of the point to point it got a uh, this lin linear function the linear function means it will linearly move between point if i turn off this you will see it will like a jump between point if now i set this a uh, friend to next point shoulder like 10 in every 10 frame if i turn on this linear the movement is actually driven by this you can see it's like a faster in the beginning slower toward the end but uh, if i change it to like this the behave will be different in the beginning it's slower and toward the end close to the next point will be faster so you can really do some very detail of the movement for your camera okay now let's see the linear path move uh, along the path okay, every 300 is a loop so if i set it to be like a 100 it will be faster okay something like that now i see this path it's actually not very rounded it's kind of like a straight line between point so i can turn on this um, round curve like, uh, more smooth but also when it go to uh, like uh, this noise it will also be smooth so you can like uh, either way you want you can use the uh, input curve instead of using this like a curve that provide so that means 
if I using a bezel curve. Okay, and then I pick this curve as the input curve. And I set this noise to zero. You will see that is the curve. And let's try to draw a bezel curve like this. So there will be a curve. If I have like a three curve, and also you can like uh, resample this, and also it work for the like the point to point. Let's go to this control. Okay, so you can have some noise for your movement. If I move the noise speed up faster, if I make the power less, you will get like this hand shaking movement. Mute this so it doesn't have any path to follow. Only the control is on. So now if I drag this camera to here. So now it is kind of like a, a, like a regular camera you, you control. It's not follow any path. You can make a keyframe of this like a traditional way. Turn on this point to point or this linear. Let's turn on this linear. Camera control. It's not following this curve, right? It's it got some kind of offset. We set this to be zero. Okay, so that is like really follow that. So if you want it to be like higher, just like grab a little bit higher. Just remember to reset this. Let's talk about this target. It's actually function uh, similar to this control. It also got this uh, point to point movement so it can also move just uh, you have to pick one of the path duplicate this okay and make it smaller and give us some noise and maybe we use this curve okay so now if we play the the target is moving between the point okay so that is a target and also it can be linear just remember to pick this path this one we will talk about that later and also this so you can have a uh, noise and uh, now let's talk about the focus of course when you want to use the focus remember to turn on the depth of field in the um, camera okay so focus object so that would be correct you don't need to change that let's go to this focus is this like a diamond form okay, so if we try to drag that we cannot drag that that is because there's some constraint to it it's always follow the target so means we can only drag the target so when we drag the target you can see the, the focus is following the target so we can get this depth of field right correctly so which is like uh, where you point your camera to it will be focused okay so that is maybe the most used case but the sometime actually wanted the camera to point here but uh, we wanted to focus on this so in that case go to the focus and then use this relative to target now we if we drag this to the mouse you can see uh, the mouse is focused without moving your target and now it's like a relative so if the target is moving it will be relative uh, move together you can maybe just turn off that put it over here so in that case if you move your camera and you move your target it will be always focus on the mouse the only constraint that you need to like a turn on or turn off is on the focus don't change other constraint let's see about the auto focus that is very cool if you go to the this camera focus and uh, you see this auto focus in default it's turn off and now we try to turn on that you will see the camera Okay, it's point to the one that we're going to use and also this collection it's this collection is holding the susan it is 
important that you put your object inside of a collection not necessarily have to be this one and just put the one that you want to, to for the autofocus inside of one of your collection and pick the collection to that let's try to play the timeline because it is uh, built by the simulation node inside of here okay you see now it's out of focus right and now if we play the timeline once we play that, you can see the focus. It's following that, following the body of the mesh. And let's try to duplicate this Put it over here. You will see the focus. We'll just go there and see, it will go that. And it even have the transition like uh, if I go back to here let's play the timeline you can see transition to that so we can give a different speed for that let's go to the focus and right now it's set to 0 0.8 so if I set to zero, it will just like a jump to this directly. So if I play the timeline again, see it right away go to there. So if I set it to be 0 0.55, it will move much slower. Okay. Okay, so now it's focusing back to here okay so that is that and um skip just like a it stop right and if i wanted to keep focusing go there and skip it stopped and also you can drag drag this during the, the playback so uh, let's go to the constraint Okay, and set this to be like that. So if I drag this, you see, now it's like that and I drag it to. Okay, so that is the autofocus. It will be very useful, but remember, so if I try to render this, let's try to render uh, image. So for image, you don't have to bake the result, but uh, if you render uh, animation, you have to bake the cache. Just go to this simulation stuff, this simulation node, and just keep bake. So now it's baked, and sometimes it might stop working. If that's the case, just save your file and re revent your file. It should be working again. So that is the autofocus. It can be a lot of use. And if you feel the this tools is like a too big, just go to this control and scale down and everything will be scaled down. Now let's talk about the recording camera. So we turn on this and we'll see several new stuff. Let's talk about that. But before, let's go to this camera control and turn on this recording receiver and turn off this linear and also or the point to point also the target turn on that the receiver and you don't have to change what's inside just make sure this one is point to the correct recording path player we can try to go to this main camera to play the timeline and you will see this camera is following the path that is what we're going to do Brand zero using this record camera now i play the timeline and i move my camera you will see there's a path being created let's go to this path that we just record and duplicate that we just save this for later 
And now we focus on this one and we convert that to the curve. So now it becomes a curve, but there's like a two curve. One is for the camera position and one is for the target position. And we can name this to be record path. Okay. And pick this correct one. Go back to the main camera to see what we have record. So it's actually recording what we just did. And you can go to this player, make it smoother for the XY. And also you can smooth the Z. Okay. And also you can trim the curve. You control the time speed twice. 0.5 and sometimes you might feel your playtime will be a little bit jumpy that is some something about the play speed so just don't make it too complicated just like a 0 0.5 or 0 point uh, maybe like a 1 or 2 because it's like a divide it will divide unevenly so if you find that just like control your play speed so this curve just become like a, your path and use this to play and next time if you want to record the new stuff just keep using this record path and turn on that and uh, we can mute this too so it's cleaner so we can record something like a first person shooter if i give us some plan for the ground Let's pick on this record camera. So if you are in this like a free camera function, press G. Your camera will fall on the ground. And if you press like a base, you can actually jump. So now if I try to record, play the timeline. And now I'm recording and jump. And I'm on this ground. I have like a more like a rock, we'll be on that. Okay, and now I'm recording like a first person shooter. And I stop. You see this path? Duplicate this. Okay, and convert this to curve. Okay. RP2. And use this player to that. Now I'm going to this camera to see the result. And I don't want it, this fall down. Just claim this. So that is the camera recording. So it's very freely without the keyframe. I hope you download this and you enjoying this very special workflow i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you like you can join my patreon and see you next time bye bye